Uh, moving on to another story, a wreck on I-40 near Moriarty. This wreck led to another wreck that in this case killed a person. Torrance County deputies say it started when a bus carrying kids to the pumpkin patch missed its exit and turned around on the interstate, causing two other cars to crash. Nine people, including another uh, pregnant woman, were taken to the hospital. The kids on the bus were not hurt. Then, while deputies were working that crash, another car re-ended a semi that had slowed down because of the first crash. The driver of that car was killed. Another person was killed in a crash this morning in Bernalillo. In that case, it happened at the intersection of 550 and 313. 550 just reopened after being closed for hours. State police say a semi was hauling a mobile home when it struck the temporary traffic lights, causing the pole to fall over and hit a truck. The victim's name has not been released. A troubling report ranks New Mexico number 10 in the country when it comes to women murdered by men. According to the Violence Policy Center, in 2011, 17 women in the state were murdered by men. The most common weapon, a handgun. The report shows that in cases where the victim's relationship to the offender was known, 94% of the women knew their killer. The study used data from the FBI's supplementary homicide report. Relief for a former APD officer acquitted today of using excessive force during a drug bust last year. The charges surrounded incidents that were captured on police lapel camera video, but it wasn't enough to convince the jury. News 13's Lizé Mitri is here with more. Lizé. Jessica, a state prosecutor told me he thought the lapel camera video as it all unraveled speaks for itself, but apparently not. A juror walking out today simply said the evidence wasn't there. It's a huge weight off my shoulders. I'm looking forward to moving forward. Former officer Connor Rice reacting to the not guilty verdict. <laughs> Despite the lapel camera video showing Rice tasing a suspect that had already been tased and later hitting a suspect who was screaming he had surrendered, prosecutors say proving Rice used excessive force was an uphill battle. The thing is New Mexico law provides officers additional protections in these kinds of criminal prosecution. The state has an additional burden to prove that the conduct was unlawful. Um, it's very difficult to do that. Prosecutor Timothy Calloway admitted to having credibility issues with witnesses like the drug investigation suspect who'd been tased. For the state, the lapel video was key. I actually still think that the video speaks for itself. But the jury didn't agree, finding Rice not guilty of battery and aggravated battery. It was unbelievable relief. You know, I've been waiting for that for a long time. The charges got Rice fired from his job at APD. Since then, he says he's been trying to make the best of an incredibly stressful ordeal, spending time with his wife and two kids. Rice says he doesn't know what the future holds, but he has appealed his termination as an APD officer. I loved my job, I can tell you that. I am deeply grateful for the relationships that I formed on that job, and I will always be grateful for those relationships. Rice says he'd been with APD for seven years. There's no telling how long the appeals process could take for him to try to get that job back. Back to you. Okay, Lizay, the lapel camera video also led to the investigation of two other APD officers, but they were not charged.